looks like Rings of Power had a fourth episode. Uh, some amount of stuff actually happens in it. You know, I mean, yeah, it's similar to the stuff that happened in previous episodes, but... Well, I guess not a whole lot. <laughs> I, I mean, by the end, Galadriel gets her way as far as the Numidorians joining her, going back to Middle-earth, you know, to seek out the sinister evil that's growing, I guess, in the Southlands or what have you. Um, because some little flurries off of a tree flew around and this means a message from the gods, you know, whatever, so the queen decides, well, I was wrong all along, we gotta help out uh, Galadriel, so they do. Um, turns out she wasn't just talking to herself in her chambers, her dad's there, uh, I guess. Well, he's bedridden, obviously, but I mean, he's, uh, you know, I guess in the throes of Alzheimer's or something. Um, but, um, uh, she reveals that he believed they should reunite with the elves, and they decided that that was against the will of, you know, Valar. So uh, she took over and uh, decided to keep up the ban of elves or whatever. But, you know, some flurries came off a tree, so I'm going to try something else. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Gladriel's pretty boy, he's still in jail. And uh, supposed to be this lost king. Um, I'm guessing that's a bait and switch, but eh, maybe not. You know, it's just maybe it's just that. Well, I was gonna say they're that cheap. <laughs> now they're not cheap. They spent a lot of money on this thing. I, I don't really see it all the time. <laughs> uh, they do new, do do a new uh, CGI spectacular where there's a vision of Numenor being flooded and destroyed. Um, that's. That's about as good as it gets. Um, but they're just cheap in ideas and stuff. So, they, yeah, maybe they're just flat out ripping off the real Lord of the Rings uh, for plot points and whatnot. I mean, you have, what's her name, son? I forget what his name is. The one who has, apparently has Sauron's hilt instead of the ring. So it's a hilt, see? And then uh, he goes snooping around in the uh, abandoned village and discovers Oryx. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but he attacks one of them with the hilt uh, by uh, feeding it blood. <laughs> the hilt turns into a sword, you know, like a lightsaber. And uh, he hacks away at uh, an orc, but uh, he doesn't know what he's doing, so he runs away and hides. Uh, and the orcs are hunting for him, and they hunt and they hunt, and then oh, I'm getting ahead of it. Uh, uh, What's his name? Aaron Dale or Aaron Dare? One of the few characters that seems sort of interesting. Uh, he's the soldier elf who got captured and um, stayed captured at the end, despite somehow losing to these orcs that are just the most least threatening. I mean, uh, the elves could mop the floor up with them. They're no threat at all. Uh, they're pretty pathetic. Um, they can't withstand the sunlight and, uh, I, yeah. I don't know. They didn't think this through. Uh, oh, as far as, uh, Ardair or uh, Adar, whatever from last week's episode, all fuzzy and you didn't know it's blurry. Who could it be? Well, he's, in, he's apparently a fallen elf. So, um, his fat half his face is scarred. So, uh, you know, like Harvey Dent, he's, uh, turned to evil. So, or not? Could he be Sauron in disguise? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So, uh, that's what, uh, he's there. So, uh, after all this time, he decides, hey, maybe I better go talk to this elf guy. After the others all got wiped out. But they weren't main characters. They were red shirts. So, uh, he talks to him and tells him there's something in the tower. You must go. And so he's on his way, I guess, there. But on the way there, he ends up saving uh, his girlfriend's uh, son uh, from the orcs. Or maybe it's his son, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he saves him. Despite, uh, you know, I was complaining about uh, House of the Dragon, which even 
So with, with some of the flaws I talked about, uh, it's still leaps and bounds superior to this thing. But they did have this scene where Doctor Who was uh, running through a, 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 a shower of arrows. There wasn't really a shower of arrows here, but it was a lot of arrows. But it's like stormtroopers, the orcs just can't aim. And this was in uh, the dark. I mean, it was evening hours, so and they were in the woods. So you can't really say the sunlight was getting in their way. And um, later on, the sun rises. They escape the woods and uh, they reunite with his mother. And uh, they're like, oh, let's get out of here. And the orcs are like, damn you. But as they're running away, the arrows are still flying because they're like, hey, we can still shoot arrows at them. And they do, but uh, no. Doesn't get them dead. You're not really going to escape that. Yeah. So, but they did. So, um, so a little, a little bit of action, albeit kind of stupid. But, um, you know, it's just, oh, instead of the ring, it's the hilt. Um, instead of what's his name, it's the other guy who's king. <laughs> That's how they're playing it, you know. And so, uh, so yeah, glad real, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, so they locked her up uh, because she wanted to see the real king. And uh, the queen said, no, you can't see him. And she gets pissed. So she locks her up next to pretty boy. And uh, he tells her, you just don't know how to talk to a queen. And, and all this stuff. And, you know, they're s still flirting. And so uh, the guards come. It's time for you to get the hell out of here. So they open the gate. And, of course, little Galadriel and she's very small uh, and too thick limbed um, well she whips their ass and tosses them into the I think it's four of them you know and uh, the queen's husband who I thought was the new king but I don't know anyway he sits there off to the side going ooh, 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 and uh, that's it so then she sneaks into the the old king's bedroom and that's when she discovers that uh, he's you know bedridden and in some sort of vegetative state uh, so then, uh, what's her name? The queen, um, reveals a crystal ball. <laughs> so she touches it and sees the vision of the end of, uh, Numidor. Uh, so, uh, I mean, Numidor, Numid whatever. Uh, it might as well be an entirely different city. Uh, and she says, oh, the vision begins with your arrival. So she knows that, you know, dark times are ahead. But now she's got this vision to join. But then again, that might be fulfilling the prophecy. <laughs> she just stayed home, you know. But uh, off they go. Isidore, uh, he got booted from, I guess, the Navy and his friends too. <laughs> but now's his chance to join the uh, expedition. So he, he and his buds do that. Um, his daughter, I mean, his daughter, his sister gets a boyfriend, I guess. At, so... Um, that's it. Oh, oh, no, not uh, the, the dwarves show up again because Elrond, uh, they find, oh, this rare ore that's important and special. Gee, I wonder what they're going to do with that. And, uh, the, there's a collapse in the mines, but, uh, everyone makes it out. Okay. But, um, the, you know, what's his name? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Feels bad about it. And, but his dad says, it's okay. You're my son anyway. Um, meanwhile, uh, Disa, uh, who was one of the other characters, he, cause you know, it was all the race swapping and stuff. So immediately there was a negative reaction to her, but yeah, she plays the role fairly well, you know, uh, as the, you know, the print, the dwarf prince's wife and all that. And then, uh, and she sings some weird song that's supposed to, that what well, it doesn't supposed to, it does, it does some sort of magic over the, the rocks to help them rescue their, their miners trapped. So that was uh, her moment, I guess. Uh, and then Elrond, you know, he's just standing around and, um, you know, ooh and and on and everything. So, uh, they, you know, eventually, I guess, since they they want five seasons of this thing. <laughs> so it's going to take a while before they start fashioning those rings. So, uh, but, you know, that's basically the only progress they've made. It's about that. Uh, there's really nothing else. The only other thing is, oh, Sauron's out there. And some creepy old guy mentions it to 
what's her name's son, the one who has the hilt. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, boy, it's what only four more episodes, I think. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, not much else to tell you. Not much. So I won't. That's it. Oh, it was called the Great Wave because, you know, Numenor is going to drown. So, see? Get it? There you go. Rings of power. <laughs>